Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this curve in uh, text and how to add this border as well. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.73. Okay, so before we start, we need a new document and for that we go to Files, New and I'm using 1920 by 1080 p at 300 dpi it's something that I already have uh, a custom preset you can use anything as long as it's wider than that is height it will be fine or oh, leave all the rest as it is and you click OK and now we have our new document now before we continue make sure that you go to, uh, to view and make sure that you have selected show guides show rulers show context toolbar and show toolbar okay so in that way we have exactly the same settings perfect so let's let's start first of all uh, this technique is not going to work in every single type of font that you have uh, let me show you. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm selecting my text tool. I'm going to click and drag to give it some height and I'm going to click affinity. I'm going to use this word. Uh, let me click on my selection tool. Still is too big, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Let's start putting this in the middle. There we go. Something like that. Okay, the first consideration that you have to have is first of all don't use any serif uh, font use any uh, sans serif and obviously not script or something like that is going to make your life difficult because in affinity uh, designer at least for now we don't have the warp uh, function uh, at least it's not yet i uh, hope the the guys from serif will include it in any uh, future version anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my text and any font that is, for example, like um, Arial, um, I don't know, um, what else, Bebas, uh, Beirut, all those ones that are beefier and they are uh, chunky. For example, chunk file will not work because how it is um, at, at, at the bottom of each of the letters. Uh, obviously, any serif, as I said before, uh, like Cincel um, or Cochin, or any any one of those ones, or rounded, for example, like uh, Conforta, uh, all those ones, uh, stay away from from those ones. It's going to make your life quite uh, difficult. The one that I use is always is Bebas, and I use the bold one. So perfect. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to put it there. So now I need to create an arc. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my pen tool. I'm going to select in that corner. I'm going to select that other corner. So now we have a line. I'm going to move it down. Click shift so you can move it on that in the same axis. And now what I'm going to do is I'm coming here. I'm going to select my node tool. I'm coming here to the middle. I press to a click to actually to create another node. I'm going to press control and then click on that node. So I make it smooth. Now I'm going to hit shift and move it up. Somewhere there will be fine. And now what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to click on one of these handles. Then I'm going to press control on the keyboard so now when I expand both moves at the same time so I'm going to move it somewhere somewhere there I think is fine I don't know if this one is actually center so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, sorry click all of them and I'm coming here to my alignment I'm going to select and align to um, selection bounds and I'm going to click on horizontal so now this one is actually right in the middle so now it's actually in the middle perfect so I'm going to make I'm going to click first command and I'm going to drag this one a little bit like this now what happened is this one 
if I stretch this one, it's going to look like it's out of face, no, no, not out of face, but it's, it's in the wrong position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it somewhere there. I'm going to get some distance in between them and then I'm going to move it like um, 10 pixels or something like that to the right. Okay, perfect. Now that we have th that done, if you want to modify the space in between the, the letters, now is the moment. You go to your character tab um, and then um, you select your kerning or your tracking from here. If you don't have this character uh, tab, here in your contextual toolbar, you have that A there. If you click on that one, it brings actually that this character. For example, let me close it there. If I click, it brings us there, and then you can drag it. I, I personally like it there. Uh, usually, some there is fine. Perfect. So now what we are going to do is we need to separate all, all these uh, letters. Affinity Designer in that sense make it really easy. You click in here to go to your uh, context toolbar and on the right you have that convert to curve. You click on there. Now all of them are grouped together. So to ungroup is shift, command, J and everything is out. Perfect. So now we are going to start modifying each one by its own. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the A and I'm going to put it somebody now you can choose anywhere you want especially the a because of the middle part there uh, i'm going to move this one right away to the close by is more than enough it doesn't need it doesn't need to be perfect just only stretch it to that point in there uh, somewhere close by is fine and the y i'm going to move it there Fantastic. Now we need to start fine tuning all these. Uh, don't worry, this is going somewhere. So <laughs> uh, bear with me. So I'm going to first uh, zoom in. I'm going to choose uh, my node tool. I'm going to click on the A and make sure that you have your snap, all those set up. Now I'm going to click in one of the nodes. Hit shift first, then click and drag, and as you can see, it moves exactly in the same um, in the same line. It keeps the angle. That is very important. If you do it without shift, what happens is you are going to move it something like this, and it's going to start uh, looking not really nice, and then uh, you have problems because it's, it's something like this or something like that. So even if you are in there, you click shift, and then when you match the same angle it will become that um, i think it's kind of pinkish type of uh, color anyway so i'm going to do exactly the same for everybody for every single node now you as you can see when i'm dragging and i'm reaching uh, or snapping on the on the curve that we have at the bottom it becomes yellow okay so that is telling you that actually is uh, snapping correctly Mm, so perfect, let's go and do every single little one of these ones, make it close, make sure that it becomes uh, yellow, so you are snapping, and remember always to press shift, so you keep it exactly in the same, uh, with the same angle. Okay, uh, I think we finished there, let me see, oh no, sorry, <laughs> ah, I was missing this one, perfect. Uh, let's go there and let's go there. Now we are talking. Now we are cooking with gas. This is perfect. Fantastic. So as you can see what I told you, always remember take care of the A because it has a diagonal going out in this side. So if you don't, if you leave it perfectly centered, then when you stretch this one, it's not going to look nice. If you have two A's, one at the at the beginning and one at the, at the end, it doesn't matter because both are going to look exactly the same. Perfect. So we have this part done. Now let me choose this one there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each one of these letters. And I'm coming here to my bar, toolbar at the top. And I'm going to choose in ge geometry. I'm going to click the bottom to add. So now all this becomes just only one curve. 
Now I'm going to choose this one and what I'm going to do is because if you think about it and you see now perfect these parts are actually flat okay and it has to have a little bit of curve okay and this part for example as well that one that we have there so what I'm going to do is if you click in there I'm going to select my curve I'm coming here to my stroke and I'm going to give it a I don't know five pixels yeah I think five pixels will be fine if you have any letter that is rounded make sure that before you do anything that one is just only touching on the on the line that's it if not it's going to look uh, a little bit ugly what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on both so I select both I come here to geometry and I'm going to click in subtract so now what we did with that is we gave it that smooth curving at the bottom okay perfect so we have the first part done we have our text with that curve at the bottom uh, I know that this is not perfect this method but because we don't have that um, envelope deformation um, this is the best way that you can do it that you can actually use then all the letters without changing them into pixels okay perfect we have one of the parts done now we need that to give that curve uh, board border uh, outside so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to select my uh, my text I'm coming here to my uh, stroke and I'm going to select uh, first of all let me change the color let's put something that we can see something like blue something like that okay now we come to the stroke and first of all let's uh, use the square cap and alignment outside the stroke and I'm going to start giving some meat to this until basically there is no gap in between the different letters I think they will be fine okay now I'm going to click uh, I'm going to select my letters now you see everything is tied together now what you can do is to separate both you come here to your layers uh, menu and you come to the expand stroke you click on that one and basically what happened now is separated okay now what I'm going to do is without touching anything I keep it selected like this I'm coming to my geometry and I'm going to click divide okay now what I'm going to do is hit shift and click on the border only so what happened is all the rest remains actually selected and now you click delete so now is basically uh, just only the border and I can move it down as you can see there perfect now that is what is going to act as a gap for the <laughs> for the other border so with that curve selected I'm coming here to my stroke and I'm going to give it a color I think uh, it's something yellowish what I use on the on the thumbnail I'm going to give it something there now this one is the one that is going to stick at the end so I'm going to give it something like a something like that I think it 20 pixels will be fine perfect now what, what we are going to do is exactly the same as we did before uh, I'm going to my layers select expand stroke so basically I got both and I'm going to click on the um, on the bottom one and I'm going to delete it so now when I go like this everything is uh, all together and you can see you have your text and you have your border I'm going to select all this and I'm going to create a group so I can move it all together now let me do like always do um, I'm going to uh, no stroke and um, this one uh, oh sorry I'm going to click and drag to create my square uh, the stroke I'm going to delete it and this one is black and I'm going to move it down and then I'm going to select in my curves there and I'm going to change the color to white so now we can see it so oops sorry 
that one there. So I can take this one, move it somewhere there, and then drag it to make it bigger. Uh, just only so you can see it much better. That's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please remember to subscribe, to give the thumbs up, to hit the notification bell so you don't uh, miss any of my tutorial. If you have any any other ideas or you think that you can do it differently, uh, any comments, uh, any ideas, again, please leave them in the section down below. Like always, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.